Yo, what's going on, YouTube Onyx? Back on this Ultimate Team. And we started right where we left off with this Steven Ridley guy. Yo, the card is a beast. I'm not I'm, I'm not playing with you at all. Steven Ridley is a monster. Pick him up. If 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 you if you're not running one of them overly ridiculous running backs, or if you want to sell your overly ridiculous high price running back and still get very good usage out of a running back, pick up this Steven Ridley. Like, you'll see what he's doing to this team, and I promise you, this dude's defense is stacked. Like, this dude's defense is ridiculous. And Steven Ridley gives no fucks how good your defense is, except for right there. Uh, I don't know how he came off that back edge like that, but whatever. But yeah, Steven Ridley gives no fucks about this dude's defense, and his defense is stacked, which you will see... Uh, later on, well, you will see the majority of it, but uh, basically, just from looking at this, you'll be able to tell his cornerbacks and stuff like that. As you can see right there, that's Charles Woodson, and then on the other side, he has Dion, and then he has Ronnie Lott at strong safety, which we all know what Ronnie Lott that is. If anybody's running Ronnie Lott at this point in time, it's either Ultimate Legend or it's Super Beast Mode fucking 4th of July Ronnie Lott, which uh, is so easy to get. Majority of people especially majority of people that have really good teams have that super ridiculous Ronnie Lott. And then, um, I don't know why I went for it on fourth down here. I just didn't really feel threatened by this guy. I don't know why, but as you can see, Larry Fitzgerald's wide open. But what the hell is that, Fitzgerald? Really, Fitzgerald? You you couldn't you couldn't tippy-toe? Like, all the tippy-toe touchdowns that I've gotten for you, all the ridiculous touchdown catches where you sliding in the back of the end zone and you couldn't do a sideline catch for me right there? Like, Really? But, uh, whatever. So, this guy's offense was some, I, I don't know, it was weird. Um, I've never played against anyone, actually, I played against a couple of people, very few people using this playbook. He was using the Jaguars' offensive playbook. And he was basically in this formation the whole game. And basically, this is what he was doing the whole game. But obviously, this is the first drive. I didn't know this would be, would, was what it was going to be until I figured it out the the first drive as you saw that Jags tight end drag play and then he has one other play which he's probably going to do right here uh where it's like Jags tight end vert I don't remember what the name of the play is but the tight end goes on yeah that right there and he's he's wide open um and he was rolling out every single play so yeah that Jags verts play he was running basically those two plays that was it that was literally it. So, once I figured it out, I haven't figured it out yet, but once I figured it out, like he's still running the ball at this point in time, but once I figured it out, basically I figured out who to key in on, which was Larry Fitzgerald, which this queer was running at tight end for whatever fucking reason, and that's 4th of July Larry Fitzgerald that this douchebag is running at tight end. But uh, basically I just keyed in on Larry Fitzgerald, kind of baited him, Played a little underneath of it, made it look like he was open. It's, it's a decent bait. You can't do it with everybody, though. That's that's obviously that's something Ronnie Lott can do with that 98 speed and 102 acceleration. You can't do that with every safety. So uh, uh, with a lot of other safeties, that would have been a touchdown. Um, but with Ronnie Lott, you can uh, get underneath a lot of stuff, like a lot of stuff. But uh. As I was saying about Steven Ridley, though, um, he just seems to get very good blocking. As you see right here, everybody blocked. And this guy has a monstrous de His defense is way better than my offense. And they all just got ridiculously blocked. Like, it, it, it didn't matter. And he blitzed. And he blitzed. And I still got a ridiculous run game. So, like, right here, I'm not even showing you this kid's whole offense because it was basically the same thing over and over. So, I don't even want to show you everything he was doing. But you'll see the play right there. Jags verts. And then, basically, he was running that other play. Jags. I don't remember the name of it. So, basically, the way I counted it, I basically blitzed him off the edge every time. And I just followed uh, his number one tight end. Whichever way his number one tight end went, that's the way he was going to roll out. And that's the way he was going to throw the ball, usually. Yeah, t Jags tight end drag was the other play. I don't know why he went for it on fourth down, but he did whatever. Um, he should have took his points. I would have took my points. But everybody's not me, obviously. So we went right back to the Stephen Ridley show, and uh, we couldn't.
couldn't run Charles Woodson over, obviously. One of the better tackling cornerbacks uh, on the game, especially that Charles Woodson. That's the, the all-rookie one. So, obviously, you're not just going to easily run him over. But um, Stephen Ridley is still out here doing his thing. Like, he just seems to get very, very good blocking. Like, amazing blocking. I, I, I really feel like ball carrier vision has something to do with that. Because majority of running backs I've used that had high ball carry vision usually get really good blocks. I just feel like it's it, it, it has to go hand in hand. Like, even if EA didn't intend it to go that way, I just feel like that's like a hidden stat for ball carry vision or something. Because he has really high ball carry vision and he gets crazy blocks. And right there, uh, play action didn't work. And he all out blitzed me. Like, there's Ronnie Lott, you can see right there. Reggie White, Jack Lambert. He has a monstrous defense. And he engaged aided me. If I could have got that pass, if the play action would have worked even a little bit, and I could have got that pass off, that was a touchdown. Because I was throwing it, I was throwing it to, to the cheat code Larry Fitzgerald. But as you can see, his offense is still the exact same. He was literally coming out in the same offense, same formation, basically every single play. I blitzed him off the edge every single play and just tried to follow Larry Fitzgerald, who was he was throwing to every single play. Basically, he came out, whichever way Fitzgerald went is the way he was going to roll out and the way he was going to throw the ball. And uh, it usually, that's that's usually the way it worked out, no matter what. And uh, even though I knew what he was doing, it still wasn't the easiest to stop. The main reason I could stop this guy is because he kept rolling out. If he would have stood in the pocket, at least for a little bit, he probably would have people open. But... Every time he kept rolling out, every single time, and he was just eating. We were just eating off those blitzes with the sacks, and then this cheese off sides right here. I don't know how that happened, but whatever. But um, I don't even remember who told me to pick up Ryan Shazier or Ryan Shazier, however you pronounce his name. I don't remember who told me to pick him up. But I just shout out whoever told me to pick up this Ryan. Shazir guy because uh, he has been a monster for me uh, it's just in general just all around monstrous especially in the coverage game he he plays his zone so well like so well it's ridiculous but as you this is the guy's team this is the guy's team right here uh, he just got a BS running back for whatever reason 99 Steve Young 99 Jerry Rice even though that's just the plain 99 Jerry Rice but whatever monstrous Larry Fitzgerald he has at tight end with 99 Antonio Gates at the other tight end because he runs two tight ends Reggie White Bruce Smith Muhammad Wilkerson playing DT which that Muhammad Wilkerson is really a 98 overall 99 James Harrison 99 Navarro Bowman was behind Jack Ham who he put at middle linebacker uh, his other linebacker he had Jack Lambert at the other side then he has Dion and Charles Woodson uh Ronnie Lott at strong safety, and I don't remember who his free safety was. But, um, yeah, his defense was just stupidly stacked. Like, amazingly stacked. Like, once I saw how stacked his defense was, I was so surprised that Steven Ridley uh, broke loose like that and got that ridiculously long touchdown. Like, usually when you run into defenses that are stacked like that, you usually, it's difficult to break long runs unless you have, like, Bo Jackson or something like that. Bo Jackson breaks on anybody. Bo Jackson doesn't care. He breaks runs on anybody. But look, the guy's offense, literally the exact same. And that should have been somebody. Shazir, Ronnie Lott, one of y'all should have picked that off. That should have been my ball. But EA said no. But yeah, just just watch. This guy's offense is basically the same thing. Now, uh, right there, he just wanted to get the first down. Ran the 0-1 trap cheese just to get the first down. But I'm like, he only got 40 seconds left. I'm not really too worried about you getting the first down. I'm just not trying to let you get the touchdown. So, um, I'm like, cool, he's probably going to just go right back to his same whatever BS offense. And, uh, we're, we're, we're waiting for it. Ah, he threw a little wrinkle in there. He had the little play action stretch thing. Luckily, Shazir was there because, like I said, he plays his zone wonderfully. So, I'm thinking he's just going to go back to his normal offense. Well, he went back to this little play action flanker stretch BS. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, Fitzgerald was wide open. So, 
I noticed that seemed to be his go-to play for now. So instead of running what I was running to stop his other play, since he wasn't rolling out anymore, I decided to just complete coverage this guy. Because now he's probably probably going to sit in that play-action flanker stretch cheese and just try and throw these deep stuff to Larry Fitzgerald. That time he ran smash, but like I said, I complete coverage him, so it didn't matter. And I believe this time he's going to try and go back to the play-action flanker stretch that he was trying to do and throw the streak to Fitzgerald, but I coveraged everything. Everything was covered. You get no points at the end of the half. Your cheese offense did nothing. Now, somehow this guy is going to score. Um, he still was running the same cheese. Somehow he got down the field. It worked out for him, whatever. Uh, locking up Steven Ridley here, but as you can see, Ridley's already got 127 yards on eight carries. You can lock him up all you want now. It don't matter. Um, so I'm like, all right, he blitzed me. No way he's going to blitz me twice in a row, so I'm going to run it again. Like, There's no way he's going to continuously blitz me like that. Just full-out zero coverage blitz me like that. There's no way he's going to do that. Well, I was kind of wrong. He, he, he hit me with the same blitz. Again, twice in a row. Really? So, seeing as I know this guy's kind of a creature of habit, and he likes to uh, continuously run the same stuff over and over, first of all, I'm going to try and get this first down first. Because uh, I'm more than sure that he's not going to run that blitz again right here. And I was correct. Look at that pancake. Ooh, the offensive line crushed. And Vincent Jackson, you should have been able to get this first down. Like, the way he turned up the field was just horrible. But we only need two yards. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that he sticks with whatever he just did and we can hit this curl route and get this two yards real quick. Or if he comes out into some type of cover three, we can still hit the curl route. But he blitzed again, but we still could hit the curl route. Dion was not ready for that curl route. And he sent this blitz again. So now I'm like, all right, if you're going to man me up, I hope he's blitzing again. I'm going to hit you with the PA wide receiver and cheese. He's blitzing again. You get the cheese. It's always open. It's always open. There's nothing you can do with one-on-one -on -one coverage against that route. You can't one-on-one -on -one that route. You have to have somebody over the top. You have to be playing some type of zone something. And then somehow this guy scored again. Still running the same cheese offense. It, it started to to work somehow I don't know but whatever he scored again but uh maybe he didn't like that I was trying to run the clock out I don't, I don't know because uh y your boy's out of here he's, he's out of here I, I don't know what that was about uh I he had a chance I was on third down I still had the two minute warning left he still had timeouts left I really don't know what that was about I mean I highly doubt his game froze or some trash like that but yeah, that's going to be it. That's it for this one, I'm Onyx. And I'm out of here.